How many of us have been in a situation where we've seen something going on, we knew it was wrong, but didn't want to do anything about it, didn't want to get involved? Let's put up your hand, be honest, I'm putting my hand up. My name is Gerald LaRose, and today I'm going to talk about a program that I'm a part of. It's called Be More Than a Bystander, Break the Silence on Violence Against Women. What they do is they go into schools, grade 8 to 12, and they talk to students about standing up to violence and uh, no longer being a bystander. They talk about the ways that they can communicate when they see violence or disrespect of any kind occurring and really encourage them to be able to stand up as individuals and together in their community against violence against women. As a young boy, I'd seen my mom and my sister being abused and I found myself in a position of, of not knowing what to do. I see this man grab my mom and throw my mom down the stairs. And uh, when this program was introduced to the BC Lions four years ago, for me it was an absolute no-brainer because um, I wanted to be a voice for my mom, for my sister, and for so many other victims that, that have gone through abuse and, and haven't said anything about it. One in three women will be sexually assaulted. That doesn't sit right with me. That really bothers me. Knowing I have a mother, a wife, and a sister, I think when leaders and icons like BC Lions players come forward and say that it's not cool to be violent, it's not cool to do anything that's disrespectful within relationships between men and women, I think that people stand up and listen to that in a different way than if they would if I was saying it or someone else was saying it. We need more men to, to stand together with women to help tackle these issues because violence against women is often seen as a women's issue. And really it's not an issue when you think about it. I mean, this, I think some of the stats are like over 98% of the people that are committing these crimes are men. And I'm not here to bash men, but what I am here to do is help raise up leaders, young men that will help stand with women, not against them. Being a father is my job as a father to raise these two young boys to stand hand in hand with females, protect females. So that's why I got involved with this program. We're really hoping that this is going to open the conversation for us to talk more about violence that's happening to women and girls in our community and that we can really come together as a community and start to look at what are some steps we can take in Nanaimo to really bring the message of don't be a bystander to our community, to our uh, schools, to our neighborhoods and ultimately to our homes.